Hey my little rainbows, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. If you're new, hello! This is my channel and you've just become a member of the Rainbow Squad by subscribing or if you didn't subscribe then you can go ahead and do that because it's totally free and it'd make me very happy. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a GFX tutorial. I have done this tutorial in the past but after that I made a tutorial I revealed my voice and I thought I'd redo the tutorial because it'd be easier to explain because I have my voice here. So I tried to simplify the tutorial as much as possible. I'm not going to be teaching you guys how to add a HDRI in your GFX or how to make a transparent GFX. Those will both be separate tutorials. But anyways, let's get into the video. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download Blender, the rig, and also uh, Roblox Studio. If you already have Roblox Studio, you can skip this step. But I'm pretty sure most of you guys don't have a rig or blender. I'm going to be using Blender 2.79 in this video. So I will be having a link in the description to a tutorial on how to download Blender 2.79. The reason why I couldn't record this myself was because my recorder for some reason will not record my system folders, which is really weird. But um, yeah, so you can go shout out to uh, Gumzi. Thank you so much for this tutorial. It was such a life changer. I'll be having a link in the description as well to download the women rig. And it's just pretty simple to download. You can just follow the instructions that were on screen on the woman rig page. I'm only gonna be providing a link to download the woman rig because if you have a man rig or man body type or a blocky body type, those will both need separate tutorials, but don't worry, those are coming soon. Anyways, let's uh, get on with step two. So the first thing you're gonna wanna be doing is opening up Roblox Studio. Again, the link to download it will be in the description box down below. Go ahead and click the base plate tab right over here. And then you are gonna be in this little area, whatever it's called. So you're gonna notice some tabs beside you. So if you don't have them, don't worry, we're gonna get them in a second. Go ahead and X off of all the tabs to make sure that we can get the correct ones. Next up, go to the View tab and click Explorer, Properties, and Toolbox. And they should appear in these exact places. So now we're gonna learn how to get our character. So we're gonna go ahead and look at the Toolbox tab. Go ahead and change Models to Plugins. And there should be this thing right here called Load Character. If you don't have it, we can go ahead and search up Load Character. So there's gonna be two options, a Robux one and a free one. Go ahead and click the free one. The Robux one will work f just fine as well, but we only need the free one today. You're gonna wanna click the free plugin and it should say install for you. So click that. It says install for me, cause I already have it. Next up, go to the plugins tab and then click load character. Go ahead and type in your username and make sure spawn at origin has an X on it. This will make sure that your character spawns in the middle of the base plate. And then you can click spawn R6. If you click spawn R15, it's gonna look really, really weird in Blender. So make sure to go ahead and click spawn R6. So now we have our character. I forgot to explain how to move in Roblox Studio. You can use keys W, A, S, and D, and Q, and E. And you can right click on your mouse to kind of rotate the screen, if that makes sense. So now I'm gonna be adding a custom face, which is super, super happy face to my avatar. Don't worry if you don't know how to do this, I'll be having a tutorial in the future on how to do so. I just wanna add super, super happy face because I just think it looks really cute on me. So now I'm gonna be getting a room model. A room model is a background uh, that will 
be in your GFX and they're really, really cool. So make sure you change plugins back to models if that is the case. Click the three dots and you're gonna wanna type in a room model creator's username. Don't worry, I'll be listing a few room model creators in the future and I'll be having a future video on my favorite room model creators. Today, I'm gonna be typing in my username because I have a room model that I really, really like and I wanna use for this video. Once you type it in, there should be like a little character option down below. You can go ahead and click it and then click apply. And here are the room models that I've created and I think they're really, really cute. So click one to add it to the scene. You can also go to the toolbox tab and click on the search bar and you can search for a specific room model that you'd like. The room model is gonna spawn on top of your character but that's totally okay and it's normal. And now we're gonna learn how to export our characters and room models. Right click on your character's username in the Explorer tab. Then right click and press export selection and save it to your desktop and save that to anywhere that you want. I recommend saving it to your desktop because that's the place that is easiest for me to access. You can go ahead and name it and then press save. Then you can repeat this step for the uh, room model or you can get some props and do the exact same thing. Next step, you're gonna want to open up Blender. So I actually forgot to record this part, so I had to take this from my uh, last tutorial. So this is why it is gray. So it's gonna be, Blender is gonna be gray for you, but for me, it's pink. Only in this scene, it is gray because this is from my last tutorial when my Blender wasn't pink. So when you open up Blender, it's gonna look like this. Just click anywhere to get rid of that. Then there's gonna be this square. You can press X on your keyboard to get rid of it. Change Blender Render at the top to Cycles Render. Then you're gonna to wanna to click File, Open, and then you're gonna to wanna to find your rig. It's going to be called Roblox Woman underscore rig or something like that. Then you're gonna to wanna to click Rig and then Default Blend. So now my Blender is pink. <laughs> so to move around in Blender, press Shift and F on your keyboard and you'll get a hold of your mouse to move around. You can use keys W, A, S, and D to move around. You can also use keys Q and E to go up and down. And you can also press shift to go faster. So now we're gonna need to delete the head. So position yourself where the head is and you can click the screen or press enter to uh, get a hold of your mouse again. Then select the head and select delete. And also do the exact same thing for the eyes, tongue, and teeth. So now we have our body. You can go ahead and select one body part, and then we're gonna go look at the corner up here until there is a plus button. Then you can go ahead and drag it down, and now we have two screens. <laughs> go ahead and click the square right here and change it to Nod Editor. And it's gonna look pretty confusing, but don't worry, I'm here to help you. Go ahead and zoom in with your mouse. If you don't have a mouse, you're just gonna have to be pretty precise. You can use these little arrows on the side to help you go up and down. Now you're gonna go up to image texture. There's gonna be two Im image textures, one at the top and one at the bottom. Make sure you're looking at the bottom one. Click the folder icon and then you're gonna go to your desktop and find um, your texture. So it'll be your username, one text. So if you have multiple ones, like your username 2text or your username 3text, click the last one. And if it doesn't work, go back and choose a different texture. Then after, click open image and now we have our clothing on our avatar. So now go back to this corner and drag it up. So then we have one full screen once again. So we have our body, but not the head. So we're gonna go ahead and import that. Click file, import, and then wavefront.abj. And go to your desktop or wherever you saved it and find it. It's gonna be, uh, there's gonna be one called .mtl and one .obj. Make sure to click the one that says .obj. If you don't know which one to pick, you can go look at this little thing in the corner and it says import obj. That should give you a hint on which one to choose. So click the one that says obj and then click import obj. So now we have our body. You can use these little arrows to move your, the body over because they're kind of combined in one and it's just a little confusing. So you can go ahead and move it over. So now we're gonna delete the body parts that are attached to the head. 
So again, you can press X on your keyboard and then delete to delete anything that you'd like. And we're gonna join all the parts of the head. So select the head and then shift and right click on the other accessories. Then you can go to this tools tab and press join. And our head is backwards, so we're gonna need to rotate it. Click set origin and then origin to geometry. And we're gonna look at the rotation section over here. Select Z and change it to 180. Then you can go ahead and move the head into position. So now we are going to import our room model. This is the exact same process as importing our head. So uh, I'm gonna speed this up. Once you've got it, we're gonna go ahead and move our character on to up onto the set. So we're going to select one of these squares, circles, or squiggly lines around the body parts. Then press shift and right click on the head. Use the arrows and rotate tools to move the character up onto where you want them to be positioned. I'm not gonna position them exactly where I want it to go, just so that I can have visuals right now. Next step, you can use these squares and circles and like rectangular pieces to move your body parts. For example, this little circle piece right here is to move the arm, and this other circle piece is to move the elbow. You guys can experience with how things move around and stuff, and I'm just gonna speed the posing process up. I forgot to mention you could use this little rotate tool right here to move the body parts around. So anyways, let's get on with the speed GFX. So now we're gonna play around with the settings of Blender. You can click this little world's icon right here and select ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion is a preset lighting that will make your GFX brighter automatically. Then go to this little paper icon and click denoising. This will stop your GFX from having greens and stuff like that. Next up, we're gonna be adding a camera. Click add and then camera. Then you can click view and then camera. And you can position your camera wherever you want it to go. So now we're gonna change the shape of the camera. Click the camera option and go to resolution. Then change it to 1280 by 720. This is if you wanna make a rectangular frame. If you'd like a square frame, you can put the resolution at 1080 by 1080. So now I'm going to position the camera and adjust it. And I'm also gonna delete these things that are in the frame. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my final touches. So I'm gonna speed this process up. To see what your GFX will look like rendered, click this little red and white ball. Then go ahead and click on rendered. It's going to look very pixelated, but wait a few moments and it's gonna just become a little bit smoother. And you're gonna see that Blender will add all these types of shadows, highlights, and it really looks cool. So now that we're done, go ahead and click this little render option and render image. And it'll take a few minutes to render depending on how fast your computer is.
So my recorder literally stopped recording. I, had, I think it was just too, it was recording for too long. But anyways, uh, here's another clip from my old video. So this is why it is gray again. So click image and then press save as image. And then choose a file to save it for. I'm just gonna save it to my desktop and call it anything that you want. Then when you're done, click save as image. And you can, I recommend checking the folder to see if it's there. And if it's not there, just screenshot uh, it and you can like crop it in your editing software. But if it's there, you can just go ahead and X out of Blender and you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Every like, every subscriber is greatly appreciated. So if you want to become a member of the Rainbow Squad, make sure to go subscribe down below. You don't have to, but it would make my day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Hey, yo.